picked the wrong week to quit sniffing glue. I have in front of me a, pre a, a test shot of the new round two uh, Hawk, 1999 Hawk, the uh, brother of the eagle, uh, and also in the same bird family. Uh, and I'm making some painting masks for it. So uh, this is what I'm doing, and this is how far I've gotten into it. Um, I'm building this thing in stages, and because there is so much of this model that needs to be... Um, um, done before you can it's not one of these models where you can put every piece together and then paint it because you've got like these cage pieces that you need to get underneath and things like that and uh, it's built or designed so well that you can like build the engine separately and then put it on you don't have to put it on first now if you're going to light this thing then that's a different kettle of fish but um for your basic uh, basic building, you can do this in chunks and then glue the chunks together when you're done. Um, so where I'm at so far is I've obviously put this much of it together. I've primed it and I put a, a, a light coat of, uh, of a white uh, sandable primer on it. And then I went back and I painted the grays in. And what I'm uh, why I did that is because I wanted to give some shadows into the white and also because there are actually gray panels on this uh, on this little bird it seems to be the pro the popular color palette for uh, 1999 was black white and orange so um, those are the colors we'll be dealing with but we're going to be doing dealing with shades of white so that it doesn't look like uh, a toy I know that's a popular refrain but I'm sorry uh, so what I've done is I've, I've got it this far, painted in some grays, painted some gray panels that I want to keep gray. And then I put the masks over them to keep them gray. Because now what I want to do is put a white coat over top of this. And then once the white, this, I'll, I'll lay out the whole, the whole thing. Once the white coat is done, then I need to mask off to paint the orange on it. And I don't want to have to go over back and forth over the orange and white, but so many times. So uh, I want to uh, paint the white, mask it off again, leave the leave these on so that they stay gray. But uh, go ahead and uh, paint it white, mask it, paint the orange, take all of the masks off, and then I'll do some touch up. And then there's some black that needs to be added to it that I am going to do with uh, vinyl. So the, uh, the masking kit will include these yellow masks for painting, but it will also include black vinyl to leave on in place. And such as these, uh, I'm, I'm going to call them solar panels. I don't know any other reason what they would be, but they're black panels here. Those are going to be handled in vinyl. Also, the window sills uh, are going to be handled in vinyl. And there are two variations of this the box art and a couple of reference photos i've seen show um uh, in particular these uh these these this and this as white with the black window and uh i've also seen versions where these are black with the black window so what i'm going to do is provide black if you want to use it but white if you want to leave it just paint it white if you want to leave it white now this being a test shot I don't know what is going to be handled in decals and what is not. I can pretty much assume if it's like the uh, Eagle kits that they will probably put a window art in there as a decal and you know with a pilot or something in there behind it so you can see the cockpit detail. Um, I'm not counting on that. I'm just going to make those black. And there's probably going to be little little pecks of orange and black striping like on some of these ribs that might be handled in decal. Uh, again, I don't know. I have not seen the decal sheet. Okay, I've just gone ahead and put the white coat over top of the templates. And then I went back in and regrade some areas that I think I took too much of the gray out of. So it's a fluid thing. Um... And while this is drying, I uh, will take the time to note a couple of things that I think you might find interesting. Um, 
especially having come off the Saturn V build, I noticed that the people who, and I'm assuming that round two uh, went back and did their research on the filming model of the uh, Hawk. And if they did, the people who uh, did their filming model really loved their lunar module model kits because you can tell right there is a face of a lunar module kit reproduced in tiny form for this kit. Also, here is half, oh, uh, where's my blade? Here is half of a second stage of the lunar module. So you have the head, and then you have the, the body. This is on its side. But this is obviously um, detail that was on the uh, larger kit represented with lunar modules. And there are four more back here. You can see two of them body to, you know, butt to butt, if it were. Uh, and then two more over here. So... The uh, folks that put together, the Brian jo Johnson people who put together the uh, original filming model of the Hawk really must have loved their lunar module kits. And it's not the first time that's happened. I believe it's also on the Eagle. Uh, you can spot lunar module uh, upper halves. So uh, it must have been a popular kit to use back then when they, uh, in the late 70s, when they were uh, coming up with these filming models. So... Now comes the thrilling part where we wash paint dry, and I won't put anybody through that. So uh, we're going to cut here and come back in a few hours once it has dried. Okay, it's time to start doing some masking for the orange paint. Ooh, the bright color stuff. Fun, fun. Um, and I've got the, the parts broken down thusly. Um, sorry, I've got a piece of vinyl stuck on my finger, and I'm trying to get it off. Um, what we do is we leave the uh, gray masks in place. And then we start to put on the mask so where we want to keep the orange away so that we can start painting the orange. I need to put masks over top of those gray shapes and over top of those uh, flared shapes. Uh, those are going to stay white. Those are going to stay gray. And then it's just a matter of some straight line masking to get the rest of the orange stripes on. So let's, let's do that. And also the engine. Uh, this is supposed to be orange. That's supposed to be orange. This is supposed to be orange, so I need to mask off there, and this you can see the uh, stripe there that is masked off for the uh, the white stripe that's supposed to stay, and then I need to put these guys have masking underneath the white paint. It's tough to see, so I just need to put some uh, painters tape over the rest of that just to keep it clean, uh, and then these guys uh, you can see where there's a panel line there. So I need to mask everything from there up, and I need to mask this raised ridged area. Uh, so let's take care of all of that, and then we can start putting some fun orange paint on things. Yeah, I'm taping up things in preparation for the orange painting, and I wanted to show uh, this in the... While I have two engines here that are identical uh, or mirrored of each other, I can show you the two different stages. Uh, this is... Here you can see the... Uh, the masks still on that are still uh, guarding the gray paint underneath and now I'm putting on the paint that or the uh, tape that's going to define the orange areas of the uh, engines and um, then first you, you define the areas with the vinyl tape and then you tape off the extraneous areas with uh, painters tape and some folks will say well why don't you just use painters tape for everything Painter's tape is good. It's it, it has its uses, but it is ultimately a piece of paper with adhesive on it, and glue or paint can wick up underneath uh, paper tape. Vinyl, you don't have that issue. It's a nice crisp, clean edge against the if you push it down right. It can be a nice crisp edge against a particularly gloss paint uh, to do a very neat line. And then what you do is you uh, this important line here, this dividing line. That's what you want to keep clean, and then back behind that, you can put your, uh, uh, basically, your tape that's all, all it's doing is covering, uh, protecting from overspray. So you can see I've got the engine bell done the same way. Uh, the important things have the vinyl tape on it, and then the rest of it is just taped off with paper. Same with the, uh, I guess these were laser guns under the front wings. Um, same deal. So let me get this, uh, wrapped up 
and then uh, we'll paint some orange and then we'll go on to uh, the oranging that has to be done on the main body which is even more fun okay it's time to do the fun masking up here on the head uh, the most one of the most striking aspects of the hawk is the fact that it's got this big orange head and the windows of course are still black but the uh, the box art, or at least what I've seen from round two, shows these as white. I've seen uh, prop pieces that show them as black. So what I'm going to do is I've got, uh, you paint it white, I've got masks that are intended to cover this over while you are painting the orange to keep it white. Now they will still be useful if you want to make them black because then I'm going to include black vinyl that you can put down over that to... Uh, uh, show to make the black uh, window version and we'll get to all that but uh, at this point of the painting I need to protect that and keep it uh, nice and clean and white okay the window sills are all masked in the yellow uh, in order to keep them white but you'll see that they don't quite fill up to the uh, corners and you have these showing and these are the ones these are the guys that need to stay white regardless of whether you're painting the whole thing white or uh, painting in black so uh, I've got tiny little strips here on the sheet that uh, see there's the shortest side the longest uh, sh second side and the longest side for these three uh, corners to cover up those seams okay now I've got the uh, little strips in and those corners are fully masked now we've got one last thing to do and that is to mask the back here and the bottom side and we will be ready to put some fun orange paint down I've got the, the the turtleneck on for lack of a better term it's four pieces it wraps around uh, yes uh, you'll never quite get rid of that seam I mean you can try but you'll always know it's there so that's the best place to kind of line that vinyl up on the seam between top and bottom and then you kind of wrap it around there I started by wrapping a, a thin uh, a thin strip just around the neck and that what that did is it actually gives a better place for the vinyl to stick to because the vinyl wants to stick to itself uh, stronger than sticking to the plastic so if you if you put a if you pre-wrap that with a strip then when you put the vinyl down on top of it it'll want to grab to it uh, a little bit stronger so now all I need to do is put some uh, paper uh, painters tape back through here and back through here just to guard from the overspray and then we'll be ready to put some orange paint down okay we're getting ready to mix the orange paint now and what I am going to do is I'm gonna put like the smallest tiniest drop of this whole red in here because I think the orange by itself is a little um, a little too on the nose a little too bright and I think knocking it down with just the barest hint of this whole red will give you a deeper orange and less of a uh, um, well, less of a, a beach ball look. Yeah, I've got some orange on. All very showy, all very orangey. Now, you can, it doesn't really show very well on the camera, but there are some subtle tonages going on uh, from dark up to bright. And I start by putting the, uh, the darkest version into where the crevices are and the shadows and the natural areas like that. And then... Uh, using lighter and lighter variations to bring up the highlights so that's drying uh, same deal here this is drying um, well that's all they're all drying but uh, you can see the various parts that uh, have gotten painted so now we uh, this looks like little tiny baby carrots I just noticed oh yeah the little, little tiny baby carrots um, I'm hungry it's lunchtime so we're back from lunch and we let the paint dry for a little bit and it's time to start removing this tape. I think first I'll take the uh, the green tape off and then we'll go obviously for the vinyl. Okay, I've got all the uh, green tape off and you can start to see some of the white hull showing back up through. And now all that's left to do is to remove the uh, yellow vinyl. Hey, I uh, got all the tape off, got all the vinyl off uh, of the orange. I still have... The vinyl that is covering the gray and that is the next step but i wanted to stop here to show how this is turning out yes there is some overspray but much easier to take care of it. a couple little spots of overspray than it is than to try to paint all of this stuff with 
I hand brushed. Okay, there we go with the gray masks removed and you can see all of those panels that we covered up from the very beginning have now uh, been returned to the, the sunlight. Um, some touching up needs to be done. I've got some overspray on these landing skids that I need to hit. So I need to mix up some white paint and get out a little tiny card, you know, to hold, uh, you know, to, so that I can do this kind of stuff where I am, uh, you know, mask, you know, holding a, a barrier up and spraying around it. So I got some of that little tiny stuff to do, but, uh, by and large, but very successful. And that is the complete opening, uh, the complete whiting of the uh, window sills there. And, and uh, pretty soon I will show you the option for making those black. Okay, I'm starting to apply the black vinyl. Uh, I've done it here on the panel here that goes back there. So you don't have to paint those black squares. And here in the, the uh, window, or in the head, in the beak, so to speak. Oh, it's late afternoon rhyming timing. Um, these little crosses are also included. Now, like I said, I don't know what the decal sheet is going to be like. So it's possible that these might be represented as decals. I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and put them in as vinyl bits. But if you were going to do the version of the uh, Hawk that has black windows but it has white window sills then pat yourself on the back you're done uh, but if you want the black window sills then you use these black pieces like i'm going to in a minute or two and you fill them in there, there you go if you like your window sills black then you are done nice and shiny you can hit them with a dull coat if you want to i kind of like them shiny but i'll probably hit the whole thing with a flat coat when i'm done but it's coming along quite nicely. I just need to do... Oh, I also filled in the bottom of those engines. There are black circles on the mask for those. If you don't want to paint them, if you do, then you can. But if you don't, you don't have to. That's how, that's how I roll. I'm all about the options. So uh, let's get the rest of this guy put together and we will be done. And here you go. A scant few hours later, all the pieces are together. A uh, little bit of picking that touch-up paint needs to be done, and I need to flat coat it. But uh, pretty darn done, if you ask me. Getting these last guys on was a f bit of fun. All of this uh, greebly work around the uh, engine bells. There's one on each, we one on each of the four quadrants here. There's one of these guys, and there's another one of them right there. But getting those guys lined up was a little bit of extra fun. And like I said, it could stand to have some touching touching up done. But I got the uh, scorching down on the engine bells. Um, a fun little kit. Now, I'll tell you, I've got it resting up on here. I noticed in the test shot there were the two parts that uh, uh, Round 2 has been using for... Uh, their stands, uh, you know, the little dome, the, the typical dome stand they've been doing lately. Uh, but I don't see where that goes in. I didn't see a corresponding hole in the bottom for that. So I don't know exactly if that's their plan. But uh, nice bit of detail here, all that pipe work going on. I do, I do think that uh, painting it in uh, sub-assemblies and then uh, gluing it together is definitely the way to go, though, because it would be impossible to, to put all that together and then try to reach a brush in and around those details. So uh, take that as, you're, uh, as you will. But there you go. A uh, nice little way to finish out the week. Um, finish out the week with this little uh, hawk project. And voila, the finished product. As the French say, there you go. And a little flat coat on there, and I think it does it does the trick. Knocks it down, makes it look like a real thing. Knocks that gloss off of there. Um, so, another, another happy, successful build. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching the video. And if you have any questions, please email me down here at this address. And I'll be happy to uh, get back to you. So, uh, see you next time and build more models.